Kribai Rio Krivoy Rog is a city in the Dnipropetrovsk region of Ukraine. It is the eighth most populous city in the country. It lies within a large urban area, administratively, incorporated with Krivoy Rog municipality as a city of region significance. It also serves as the administrative center of the district although it is not part of it. The city extends for 126 kilometers from north to south. Standing on the Saksarin and Inhulets River, Krivoy Rog has been a major settlement for most of its history, going back to its founding as a postal city in 1775 by the Cossacks. A military settlement until 1860, it was part of Kusin, although it was incorporated during the 20th century with areas of Yakorta and Islav. The township began to expand at an astonishing rate at the beginning of the 1880s. Krivoy Rog's urbanization was unplanned. French and English investment was brought on by a boom in metallurgy, iron mining and investigation of rich deposits of iron ore. The building of the Yakorta Ininska Railway in 1884 built for transportation of water Donbas transformed Krivoy into a major industry town that culminated in city status in 1919. Nationalization and investment spurred by Soviet authorities led to extensive growth. In 1934 Krivoy's Tor was built the first of more than 500 factories. The city also gave rise to the foundation of Krivoy Rin National University. Financially, the city's growth after the Nazi occupation increased due to economic reforms. Also, investment spurred by Ukrainian independence, market economy and the 2014 revolution led to extensive regeneration, particularly in the city center. Today Krivoy Rin is arguably the main steel industry city of Eastern Europe, being a large globally important center of the iron ore mining and metallurgy region. Its oblast economy is the third largest in Ukraine. History equals Etymology equals, The city was founded in the 18th century by Zaporozhian Cossacks. Krivoy Rin Ukrainian literally means crooked horn. According to local legend, the city was founded by a crooked Cossack named Rin. However, records predating the existence of the city refer to the area by the same name, due to the shape of the landmass formed by the merging of the river Saksin into the Inhulets. Equals early history equals, Inhulets Palenka was established in 1734, and a list of villages and winterings from that time mentions Krivoy In 1770 the camp of Zaporizhian Syke was founded, and four years later Johann Anton Gar won Kortildenste currency DT visited the area and made its first scientific description. On May 8, 1775, after the end of the Russian-Turkish War, Russian authorities opened a postal station and track which linked Krementyuk, Kinburn Forland and Okokov, all locations of the Imperial Russian Army. The station was tended by five Cossacks. Krivoy re-entered the 1800s as a village the largest industrial enterprises of the town being three water mills. The first original stone houses were built in 1828, and the highest building at the end of the 1800s was the Central Synagogue, torn down in 1947. The village became a township in 1860. Equals industrial growth equals, Alexander Pohl discovered and initiated iron ore investigation and production, and this in turn caused the formation of a mining district. In 1874 Alexander II initiated the founding project of a railway, running 505 kilometers. This enabled transportation right into the nearest factories and greatly sped up the development of the region. In 1880, with 5 million francs of capital, Paul founded the French Society of Crevay Rules. In 1882 16.4 thousand tons of ore were extracted from the outskirts by 150 workers. A center of capitalism, the region was the greatest area of ore extraction in Russia, and the first underground mine of the basin began to function in 1886. A new branch of industry, metallurgy, was founded in 1892, when the first blast furnace of Dantsiv Iron Works was started. The export of ore in Silesia soon began. Five schools and an aerial cableway were created in the town and the development of the city attracted new people looking for a quick profit. The supply of mined or far exceeded the demand, and so many mines completely suspended their work, while others had to reduce their workers and output by more than half. Workers did not have proper conditions, social security, 
or contracts, and they were prone to combinations of lung cancer, tuberculosis and asthma. Thousands of people who worked in the mines and the factories were left without employment. At the same time, the city began to develop the ideas of socialism and democracy. However, there were also several terrorist attacks and strikes, and 1905 brought anti-Jewish pogroms and repressions. The First World War interrupted access to the export markets, and a lot of workers were called to the front. The city survived soldier and workers' deputies in 1917. Soviet power was established in January 1918. The Donetsk Euro Krivoy Rog Soviet Republic, founded on February 12, 1918, became a self declared Republic of the Russian SFSR and sought independence from Ukraine. On March 29, 1918, it became a republic within Ukraine until it was fully occupied by German forces in support of the Central Rada. It was disbanded on March 20, 1918, when the independence of Soviet Ukraine was announced. Around this time, Krivoy Rus status was changed from township to city. It was founded by Azd as part of the Yakorta and Islav Governorate. It included 30 Volosts. In late 1919, it was briefly ruled by the Volunteer Army. Equals Soviet era equals, on January 17, 1920 the Red Army finally took Krivoy Rus. City's population totaled 22,571. The city did not have a drinking water system until 1924, when a 55.3 km system was laid underground. Foreign investments were stopped, mines renewed. The first mining institute began work in 1929, and the medical and pedagogical institutes were founded. In 1931 the foundation of metallurgical works was laid, the first blast furnace of the metallurgical works gave metal three years later. The city grew rapidly. There are 160 industrial enterprises and 947 shops. Nazi occupation During World War II, Krivyry was occupied by the German army as part of the Reichskommissariat Ukraine from August 15, 1941 to February 22, 1944. Being evacuated from September 20, 1941 to August 1944, the government, factories and Krivyry Institute worked in Nizhny Tagil. Germans immediately began to build up local government, installing executives, gendarmerie and police forces. Ukrainian National Liberation Movement in Krivoy Rog was organized by marching groups OUN. The answer came in the ethnic cleansing of Ukrainians as well as large-scale Holocaust. On October 13, 1941 700 people were executed. From October 1941 to April 1942 to 62 93 persons, in August 1943 13 people. Hitler has repeatedly stressed the crucial importance of this area as Nikupal Manganese, its importance to us all can not be expressed in words. Loss of Nikupal would mean the end of war. In addition, the bridgehead on the left bank of the Dnieper left the German commander strike in order to restore the land connection with the group of forces locked in the Crimea. During the first half of January, Soviet troops made repeated attempts to eliminate the Nikupal Krivoy Rog enemy group, but because of the stubborn resistance of German troops did not achieve success. Krivoy was almost totally destroyed by the fleeing German army during Nikupal Euro Krivoy Rog offensive. Equals post Second World War and post Soviet equals, after the war, people lived among the ruins while housing stocks were rebuilt. The housing shortage was met by innovative technological solutions, which meant temporary barracks and houses could be built quickly. The two kinds of cheap new materials were used later for years afterwards. Regeneration began in the late 1940s with initiatives such as Stakhanovite movement, Krushkaivas, new mines, shoe and wool spinning factory, central iron ore enrichment works, northern iron ore enrichment works, city circus. Trolley buses in Krivyry were launched in 1985. Krivyry Airport became international. In 1990, Krivyry produced 42% of USSR and 80% of Ukrainian ore extraction volume. Large sections of the city dating from the 1960s have been either demolished and redeveloped or modernized with the use of beton and steel. Old flats have been converted into modern apartments, 
nine micro districts of 17 ANS, nine floor pain loque apartments have since been developed. Kribiri TV Mast is a 185m tall guide tubular steel mast built in 1960, which carries in two levels three crossbars, which run from the mast structure to the guys. All three crossbars are equipped with gangways that carry additional smaller antennas. The city itself is laid out with broad avenues lined by wide sidewalks. Tram lines run down the center of the major streets. Beside the sidewalks there are usually several rows of trees such as lindens and horse chestnuts. Many people live in rows of five to nine story apartment buildings that are wrapped around large inner courtyards. Many of these courtyards are also filled with trees giving the overall impression that the entire city is built in a park. The proclamation of the independence of Ukraine in 1991 brought about radical changes in every sphere of city life. In the 1990s the city was known for its banditry, which was successfully destroyed. Spurred by the investment after the 2005 Krivarastal privatization by ArcelorMittal, and aided by MetInvest, Krivarastal city center has undergone extensive regeneration. City is of the biggest flower clocks in Europe. New and renovated complexes such as Orchard and the Union have become popular shopping and entertainment destinations. Krivarastal is among 30 most comfortable cities for living in Ukraine. Government The city of Krivarastal is governed by the Krivarastal City Council. It is a city municipality that is designated as a separate district within its oblast. Administratively, the city is divided into rayons. Presently, there are seven rayons, Zazhinsky, Central City, Terny, Siksan, Ingilets, Zivtnevi and Dovuntsovsky. Small townships, Avanad, Hornyatsk, Tanovati Kut, Kolon Watsovo and Novoivanova were added to the city. Originally Ingilets Pavite of Novorossiysk Governorate was established on lands of Ingilets Palenka in 1775 after the destruction of the Zaporozhian Syke. In 1775-1776 it was part of Kusin Governorate. In 1783, the Povite center became Krivirei, and it was renamed to Krivirei In 1860 Krivirei got the status of township in Kusin Governorate. In 1919 township was granted city status in Yakorta and Islav Governorate and, later, Nerpropetrovsk Oblast. As a result of the administrative reform in 1923 Krivi Ripovite converted to Krivi Ryokruga, which in 1930 became an independent administrative unit of Ukraine. Krivi Ry has three single mandate parliamentary constituencies entirely within the city, through which members of parliament are elected to represent the city in Rada. At the last general election, were won by PPB and independent candidates with representation being from Yuri Pavlov. Andriy Halchenko, Konstantin Yusuf respectively. In multi-member district city voted for opposition bloc, union of all political forces that did not endorse Euromaidan. In the last decades, Krivi has generally supported candidates belonging to the Party of Regions and Communist Party of Ukraine in national and local elections. Same situation was with presidential elections, strong support had Leonid Kuchma and Viktor Yanukovych. After 2014 events of Euromaidan, mass demonstrations and clashes in central city, regions lost its influence, and Krivi supported Petro Poroshenko. Culture Krivi has a thriving theatre, circus and dance scene, and is home to a number of large performance venues. First theatre was Colosseum in 1908, also the new theatre of Vizin Bay and Rushevsky. Krivi's theatre began its activities in 1931, three years later incorporated with Shevchenko Theater. Another one's a doll theater and movement theater. Krivi Ray is famous as the birthplace Eugenie Jershoy, an American sculptor and watercolorist who emigrated with her family in 1903. Jershoy's work is in the collections of the Whitney Museum of American Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Her papers are held at Syracuse University. Folk musician Dwa Drach, actress Helena Makoska and dancer Vladimir Malik have also originated in the city. The first screenings were conducted in the early 1920s. In 1934 Lenin Cinema was built, there are three of them, Olympus, 
Edessa and Multiplex now open. Krabi Recircus feature large-scale exhibition space where fairs are held. Soviet heritage are palaces of culture in every district of the city. Local historical museums celebrate Cossacks' history, rich industrial heritage and its role in the Soviet state. The municipally owned art gallery houses a collection of local painting. The nighttime economy of city has expanded significantly since the 2000s. Big clubs such as Hollywood and Sky, many tours of famous DJs, pop and rap performers were based there. Another major scene of the city, Palace of Youth and Students of the KNU University. The most popular fast food, McDonald's, located at 95th block. Ukrainian cuisine adjacent to bagels, cheesecake, hot dogs, shawarma and pizza, while Japanese cuisine and other Asian restaurants, hookers, sandwich joints, trattorias and coffee houses have become ubiquitous. Other well-known places, City Pub and Prado Cafe. The city is home to the annual electronic music Turbofly Festival. Rock band music, a tradition in the Ukraine, is an important part of city's life and hosted in few small pubs. Landmarks, Krabi Riz buildings display a variety of architectural styles, ranging from eclecticism to contemporary architecture. The widespread use of red brick and block apartments character the city. Much of the architecture in the city harks back to its days as a center for the ore trade. Just outside the immediate city center is a large number of former factories, some of which have totally destroyed and in despair need of restoration. Stalinist architecture is wide with neoclassical mass low-cost apartments. City Hall is the best example of the decree on liquidation of excesses. Krushkayova is a type of low-cost, concrete paneled or brick three to five storied apartment building which was developed in the USSR during the early 1960s, during the time its namesake Nikita Khrushchev directed the Soviet government, dozens of such units are now past their design lifetime all over the city. There are six micro districts. The city has many Christian churches, the most notable being the Saviour Transfiguration Cathedral. It is the main center of Krabi Repachi founded on July 27, 1996. Roman Catholic Chapel located in Old Town. Pokrava Church, Mikhailovska Church and Christmas Church were destroyed in the 1930s during the Great Purge, never to be used as a church again. In Krabi Ridge Judaism served by synagogue, reopened after World War II only in 2010. Large parks hold many of Krabi Ridge's public monuments. City has mostly socialist realism style monuments to Cossacks, Oleksandr Paul, Taras Shevchenko, Bohdan Kmolnitsky, Vasily Margailov, Alexander Pushkin, Fyodor Sergeyev, Mikhail Lermontov, and Maxim Gorky. Few Lenin monuments were destroyed during Euromaidan events in 2014. There are dozens of cenotaphs and memorials to Second World War soldiers. A Sukhoi Su 15 is on display near Aviator Club. Yakovlev Yak 40 at National Aviation University, by Zvalenia Square Hold IS 3 tank. Russian locomotive class E placed near railway station. Krabi Ri has few designated natural monuments the old pair near Karnavatka, another pair of 1789, Vizika Landscape Reserve, Northern and Southern Red Beam, Amphibulite, Arkos and Skilovatsky Outputs, MOPR Rocks, Slate Rocks, Sandstone Rock. Park named after the newspaper Pravda is very famous by its Ampa boat station. Krivai Ri Botanical Gardens of NASist in 1980. Education. Major Krivai Ri National University was originally formed as College and Mining Institute in 1929. It gained university status in 1982. Krivai Ri Pedagogical Institute It was founded in 1930 as an institute of vocational training. Is the oldest pedagogical institution in Krabi Ring, reorganized in Pedagogical Institute. In 2011, Cabinet of Ukraine founded Krabi Ring National University by uniting Mining Institute, Pedagogical University, Economic Institute of Kyiv National Economic University, and Department of the National Metallurgical Academy of Ukraine. Another institutions are local Department of Dnepropetrovsk State University of Internal Affairs. Campuses of Zaporizhzhia National University, 
National University Odisha Law Academy and Interregional Academy of Personal Management, College of National Aviation University. In 2014 Donetsk Tugan Baranovsky National University of Economics and Trade was evacuated to Krivira after a long war in Donbas. Its future is uncertain. According to Francis Karen Cross a Euro OE there are too many small universities, the majority of which are ineffectively governed and mired in corruption. They are not able to withstand existing global challenges a Euro according to Anders Aslan the quality of doctoral education is bad, particularly in management training, economics, law and languages. He also signaled that the greatest problem in the Ukrainian education system is corruption. There are 149 general secondary schools and 150 nursery schools and kindergartens in Krivi Additionally, there are evening schools for adults, musical, art, sports and specialist technical schools. Sport FC Hernik Krivi is a football club based in Hernik Stadium, and currently competes in the Ukrainian First League. It is part of the sports club Hernik which combines several other sections. The club's owner is the Krivi Iron or Combine, the biggest subterranean mining public company in Ukraine. Krivi was also home to another football team, Krivbas Krivi The team was founded as FC Krivi in 1959. The next year it was part of the Republican Sports Society of Anad. After a couple of years it changed to Hernik, before obtaining current its name in 1966. Krivbas debuted in the Ukrainian Premier League in the 1992 Euro 93 season. They had been in the top league since their debut, with their best finish in third place in the 1998 Euro 99 and 1999 Euro 2000 seasons. At the end of the 2012 Euro 13 season, the team finished in seventh place, however, due to financial difficulties, the club declared itself bankrupt in June 2013. FC Krivbas 2 Krivi was the reserve team of Krivbas. In 1998 the club entered into the professional leagues to compete in the second league. In three seasons the club moved to the amateur level before competing one last time in second league. SC Krivbas is a professional basketball club. Achievements of the team are winning the Ukrainian Basketball League in 2009, and winning the higher league in 2003 and 2004. Since 2010 the team is active in the Ukrainian Basketball Super League. The city is famous for its annual autorly. It was also the birthplace of the Ukrainian tennis players Valeria Bondarenko, Alona Bondarenko and Katerina Bondarenko. Geography At 47A degree 55 a euro squared 0 a euro cubed n 33A degree 15 a euro squared 0 a euro cubed e, 415 kilometers south of Kiev. The city extends for 126 kilometers from north to south, paralleling the ore deposits. The city center is on the east bank of the Inhulets River, near its confluences with the River Siksayan. Krivi geographic features were highly influential in its early development industrial city. The city is set in the rolling steppe land surrounded by fields of sunflowers and grain. A short distance east of the city center, there is an area along a small lake where glacial boulders were deposited. As a result, this area was never cultivated and contains one of the few remaining patches of wild steppe vegetation in the area. The city's environmental and construction safety is a growing problem due to abandoned mines and polluted or processing waste. According to the Scientific Hygienic Center of Ukraine, the city is one of the most unfavorable places to live because of these problems. Equals climate equals, Krivi Re experiences a dry continental climate according to the Car Paragraph PPEN climate classification system, like much of Ukraine. This tends to generate warm summers and cold winters with relatively low precipitation. Snowfalls are not common in the city, due to the urban warming effect. However, districts that surround the city receive more snow and roads leading out of the city can be closed due to snow. Demographics Historically the population of Krivi began to increase rapidly during the interwar period, peaking at 1970000 in 1939. From then the population began to decrease rapidly, due to foreign workers and increased building of social housing over spill estates by Krivi City Council after the Second World War such as Sutshore and Sonyachny. 
The 2014 estimate for the population of Kravai Ru was 654,900. This was a decrease of 4,348 since the 2013 E. Since 2001, the population has grown by 48,001. In 2013, deaths exceeded births by 35,89. Net migration rate is 234. According to the UNHCR and City Council, 7,000 people of Donetsk and Luhansk have fled to Kravira since the beginning of 2014 war in Donbas, not including those who did not register as asylum seekers. Kravira has traditionally been Christian, and has a large number of churches, particularly in the central city. The well-known Saviour Transfiguration Cathedral in Siksun Rayan is Orthodox Administrative Center, Bishop of the Kravira Parchi has his main residence here. The town has a school of icon painting. Patron saint of the city is Saint Nicholas as well as bishops Onufri and Porphyry. The majority of region's Jews live here, with significant Jewish community. The Ajdan Stuhlman Synagogue in the central city was open in 2010. In the early 20th century, the city had two synagogues, located on the corner street. As part of Roman Catholic Diocese of Kharkiv Zaporizhia city has Costal of Mary Mother of Jesus. Kribiri is also home to Evangeliums Grison, CEF and Vida's communities. LGBT activity in city is not eligible, people may experience different social attitudes and public policies. In terms of ethnic composition, there is no official statistics but history showed that Jews make up the single largest ethnic minority of 15000, followed by Russians and Armenians. Other large immigrant groups are people from Korea, Poland, Moldova, Azerbaijan and Roms. The area also attracts large numbers of African students to the city who are attending the local universities. Central City and Dovuntsevsky Rayon are centers of population for ethnic minorities. The Kravira metropolitan region has a population of 900 in 2013. In addition to Kravira itself, the KMR includes the five rayons of the Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. The KMR is the sixth largest within the Ukraine. Economy In mid-2014 Kravira had an IPI of a 41.6 BN with 17.9% growth which is 41.8% of Dnipropetrovsk Oblast IPI. Export reached $2.520 million, import $276 million. City got $4.899 million of foreign investments, mainly from Germany, Cyprus, Netherlands, and the UK. Official unemployment throughout 2014 averaged 0.63%. Average wages of 4.022. Processing and mining industry, the two largest sectors of Kravira. Rest fraction is about 50%. City has over 53 plants, mines and factories. ArcelorMittal Kravira, owned by ArcelorMittal since 2005 is the largest private company by revenue in Ukraine, producing over 7 million tons of crude steel, and mined over 17 million tons of iron ore. As of 2011, the company employed about 37,000 people. Four iron ore enrichment works of Metinvest are a large contributors to the UA's balance of payments. Another giants of city are Evra's mining company and Heidelberg Cement. Transport Local public transportation in Kravira includes the Metrotram, buses and minibuses line, trolley buses, trams and taxi. The publicly owned and operated Kravira Metrotram is the fastest, the most convenient and affordable network that covers most, but not all, of the city. The Metrotram is continuously expanding towards the city limits to meet growing demand currently having three lines with a total length of 18.7 km and 16 stations. Despite its designation as a metro tram, and its use of tram cars as rolling stock, the Kravira Metrotram is a complete rapid transit system with enclosed stations and tracks separated both from roads and from the city's conventional tram lines. City public transport provided services for 66 M persons in first part of 2014. The Kravira public transport system, except for taxi, uses a simple flat rate tariff system regardless of distance traveled, tickets or tokens must be purchased each time a vehicle is boarded. 
discount passes are available for grade school and higher education students. Pensioners use public transportation free. Ticket prices are regulated by the city government, and the cost of one ride is far lower than in Western Europe. The historic tram system, once a well-maintained and widely used method of transport, is now gradually being phased out in favor of buses and trolley buses. The city has no cycling lines. The taxi market is expansive but not regulated. In particular, the taxi fare per kilometer is not regulated. There is a fierce competition between private taxi companies. Krivairi International Airport is the airport that serves the city. It is located 17.5 kilometers northwest of the city of Krivairi. Twin cities, Krivairi has two historic sister cities, Handan, Nizhny Tagil. See also, list of people from Krivairi. References. Equals footnotes equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links, Krivairi Administration Website, Krivairi DMOZ, 1KR City News, Google Maps Satellite Image of Krivairi, Testing the Metal of Ukraine Steel City from the BBC World News, The Murder of the Jews of Krivairi During World War II, at Yad Vashem Website.